There are still multiple unsolved issues when it comes to not only fixing a pelvis, but really treating pelvic fracture patients overall. Um, certainly, it's still difficult to get reductions, which is one issue. Uh, and our fixation is suboptimal, I would say. You know, the um, standard fixation, probably 90% of our cases currently are treated with uh, percutaneous screws, either across the SI joint or across the sacrum. Um, and these screws are uh, standard buttress thread design, which are, you know, 60 year old technology and clearly not, uh, not, not kind of caught up to modern uh, mechanical principles and mechanical designs. We are encountering with increasing frequency, this whole different subset of patients with really a different injury. So these are the patients who either fall and have a non-displaced fracture or uh, they roll over in bed and they've got this insufficiency fracture. But either way, these are these medically frail patients who, just like hip fracture patients, where we push the risks, cardiac, pulmonary, we push the surgical risks to do surgery immediately to get them out of bed right away. And this is now a new, a new subset of patients where we really don't know, we know how to treat a hip fracture. We really don't know the best way to treat fractures that keep geriatric patients immobilized, recumbent with all the same problems of DVT, pneumonia, uh, UTIs and things like that. If we think about a screw in this poor bone quality with just threads with really no bite or purchase, it's a little bit far-fetched. Now, it does work in some people, but it doesn't work in a lot of people. And so being able to cross a fracture with an implant that's got a little more of a hold. Also, these patients very frequently have SI joint dysfunction and or radiographic degeneration. Um, you know, that I think that's only an added benefit. But having a stout, roughened surface implant, I think will offer much better stability which in turn will lead to better pain relief and better mobilization for these patients. So again, it's really a novel implant that has multiple functions. It, it's a, it advances with threads, but additionally, it offers a porous coated or the porous surface, which achieves kind of immediate fixation much better than stainless steel. And it also is really designed with um, the idea in mind with the fenestrations to achieve acute fusion. So it's really a fusion device that happens to have a, a thread insertion mechanism, but it's really distinct from a screw.